makers, it's Charlotte with the Wooden Wick Co. And today I'm so excited to teach you how to make your very own X Wick candle. If you've never made an X Wick candle, I'm gonna guide you through the entire process from what you need and walk you through exactly how to make your own. When you make a candle, there's a few basic components that you're going to need. A vessel, something to put your candle in. Be sure to choose one that is safe for candle making. So don't choose anything that is flammable. Next, you're gonna need some candle wax. Today, I'm using our virgin coconut soy wax, which is a luxurious and super beginner-friendly blend of coconut, soy, and food-grade paraffin. And it gives a beautiful creamy white top and a superb scent throw. So it's really easy to use if you are new to candle making. You're also going to need some fragrance oil. Again, be sure to choose something that is safe for candles. And today from the Wooden Wick Co, I'm using our Lime Sangria and Guava Blossoms. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. It smells delicious. It's very fresh and citrusy, and it makes me want to drink some lime sangria and put a guava blossom in it. <laughs> Whatever that ends up being like, that's what I want. Um, also, we're gonna need a wick. So today we're using our X wick, and I've chosen one of our color X wicks. This is our cobalt blue color X wick. And for the Aura Vessel, we're going to be using the half inch wide width. You will also need a clip. All of our uh, x wicks come with a clip that is meant to hold the x wick shape. You will need a wick sticker that's to hold our wick and clip assembly down in the center of our vessel, um, a pouring pitcher, a scale, and something to mix things up with. And behind me, I have some wax already heating up. So. With that said, let's heat things up ourselves. I've already preheated some wax, but typically you would start by cutting up a piece of your wax. This wax is very easy to cut. It's pretty soft and you would weigh it out. For the Aura Vessel, it holds 12 ounces total. And today I'm gonna to use a 10% fragrance load. That means that I'm gonna be utilizing 1.2 ounces of fragrance and 10.8 ounces of wax. So you will cut up your wax, you will weigh it on the scale, and then you can place it in a wax melter or a double boiler in order to melt the wax. You're gonna wanna melt this wax between 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So because I already have my wax melted, we can go ahead and skip this step and get to wicking our vessel. I already have assembled an X wick, but if you're not familiar with how to assemble an X wick, it's pretty easy. They'll come in two pieces when they arrive to you, and you're simply gonna wanna take these two pieces and slide them together to form an X. See how simple that is? Next, you'll take an X wick clip, and you're just going to slide your entire wick and clip assembly straight into the clip and press down until it's fully inserted into your wick clip. Now we're gonna take a wick sticker, peel away one side of it, place it on the center bottom of your wick and clip assembly, and simply peel away the secondary side of adhesive. I'm also using a very cool vessel today. This is our iridescent prism aura. It's like a magical rainbow. So I figured if I'm using color wicks today, I might as well use the most colorful vessel possible to go with them. So take your X wick assembly and you're going to place it into the center bottom of your vessel and simply secure it to the base. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to mix my fragrance and my wax. So I'll turn my scale on and behind me, I have some melted wax that's already at the appropriate temperature of 180 to 190 degrees. And I've melted quite a bit of wax because I'm making a lot of candles today. But um, for this candle specifically, again, I only need 10.8 ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully pour my melted wax into this smaller pitcher until I have a perfect 
10.8 ounces. And now I will take my fragrance oil and I'm going to add an additional 1.2 ounces to my mixture before I mix it together. So be sure to use a scale that goes to at least two decimal places so that you have an accurate read on exactly how much wax and fragrance you're using. Once you've poured your fragrance oil into your wax, now it's time to combine them. When you're making a candle, you wanna stir your wax and fragrance together for two to three minutes to ensure that they fully bind. So put on your favorite song, chill out, and let's stir for two to three minutes. Okay, now that I've stirred my wax and fragrance thoroughly together, I am ready to pour my candle. The pitcher will get hot from your melted wax, so proceed with caution and hold the handle of your pitcher. And I'm gonna carefully pour my liquefied wax and fragrance combination into my vessel. When you're pouring, you want to leave about 3 16 of an inch or 0.2 inches, this is also five millimeters, of your wick above the surface of your wax. This is going to give you a proper burn and it's the adequate wick height above your wax to ensure that your candle performs consistently throughout the life from the first burn all the way to the bottom. Now let's let this candle cool for 24 hours and I'll be back in a bit to show you guys the finished product. Welcome back guys. Our candle is fully cooled and we have a gorgeous color X wick. Again, I used our cobalt blue X wick today. If you guys have questions about which X wick to use in your specific wax type and vessel diameter, head to woodenwick.com and navigate to our wick selection guide. This will ask you a few simple questions such as which wax type you're using and what your vessel diameter is and give you a quick suggestion on where to start your testing to find the best wick. I can't wait to see what you guys create with our X wicks. They're available in a variety of colors and sizes so that you can use them in almost any candle project. And here's the finished product that we made today. Thanks so much for joining me and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making.